Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between manual and computerized accounting. In accounting, the financial transactions are recorded, processed and presented to generate financial statements, that is useful to the readers, in making decisions. Traditionally, accounting is done manually, by a trained accountant, with the use of registers, account books, vouchers etc. But with the emerging technology, nowadays, computerized accounting is in vogue, due to its accuracy, convenience and speed. Both manual and computerized system is based on the same principles, conventions and concept of accounting. However, they differ only in their mechanism, in the sense that manual accounting uses pen and paper, to record transactions, whereas computerized accounting makes use of computers and internet, to enter transactions electronically. So, Let's look into the basic differences between manual and computerized accounting in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Manual accounting refers to the accounting method in which physical registers for journal and ledger, vouchers and account books are used to keep a record of the financial transactions. On the other hand, computerized accounting implies the method of accounting, which uses an accounting software or package, to record the monetary transactions, which happen to an organization. Number 2. In manual accounting, recording of the transaction can be done through the book of original entry, that is, journal day book. Conversely, in computerized accounting, the transactions are recorded in the form of data, in the customized database. Number 3. In manual accounting, all the calculations, that is, addition, subtraction, etc. with respect to the transactions are performed manually. In contrast, in computerized accounting, there is no need to perform calculations, as the calculations are performed by the computer automatically. Number 4. In manual accounting, a person remains involved all the time, with the accounts, to enter and update transactions, which is tedious and time-consuming too. As against, in computerized accounting, once the transaction is entered, it is automatically updated in all the accounts to which it relates and thus, the process is comparatively faster. Number 5. In manual accounting method, if there occurs an error while entering and posting the transaction in the books of accounts, then adjustment entries can be passed, for getting accurate results. Moreover, adjustment entries are also made to comply with the marching principle, that is, the expenses of the accounting period should match the respective revenues. On the other hand, in computerized accounting, to comply with the marching principles journal and vouchers are prepared, but adjustment entries are not passed for rectification of error unless the error is an error of principle. Number 6. One of the merits of computerized accounting which manual accounting lacks is that in manual accounting there is no way to back up all the entries and financial statements, but in computerized accounting, the accounting records can be saved and backed up. Number 7. In manual accounting, the trial balance is prepared only when it is required, whereas, in computerized accounting, instant trial balance is provided on a daily basis. And, difference number 8, in a manual accounting system, the financial statement is prepared at the end of the period, that is, financial year. On the contrary, the financial statement is provided at the click of a button, in the computerized accounting system. As the number of business transactions increases, it is difficult to manage accounts manually, as it takes a lot of time to update a single transaction in all the accounts that it affects. In computerized accounting, a number of limitations of the manual accounting have been removed. Whenever the transactions occur, the entry is made and it is updated automatically in all the accounts that it affects, in the computerized accounting. So, these are the differences between manual and computerized accounting. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.